Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back through your daily crypto news and analysis. And today, we're going to be talking about Flare Networks, aka Flare. So with that being said, I hope that you are all having a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are out there in the world. So, artificial intelligence. One of the biggest opportunities around blockchain, specifically the convergence of blockchain and AI together, to really kind of make this dominant um, technology, right? Because without blockchain, AI is not going to be adopted at scale. When we look at a lot of the great opportunities within the space, whether that be tokenization, cross-border payments, you name it, almost everything has one thing behind it, which is automation. You don't get automation without AI. And you don't get AI without blockchain. Why? Because blockchain is providing the, the core principles behind AI governance. Specifically, we could look at data, for an example. Uh, clear data that you can you know, transparently tap into. You could see it. Um, you could trust it. That is so crucial for AI at scale in terms of adoption. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this is because recently the co-founder of Flare Networks, Hugo put out a great um, article and it was CryptoPotato.com. Here it is, right? So the title of this is AI will be one of those areas where blockchain has genuinely improved. And this is from Flare Network CEO. And uh, if we actually look into this, right, there's a lot of stuff to read. I'm not going to waste your guys' time and go over every single thing in this. Um, down here is where we really kind of get a glimpse into this, which is data. So we have incorporating external data into blockchain systems. So we have Flare Network's primary goal is to address the complex challenge of incorporating external data into blockchain systems. And why is this a big deal? Why is this even a, a thing around AI as well? Well, currently speaking, right now, AI is it's requiring a ton of data. Um, I actually want to talk a little bit more about this. So we have over here a quote from Hugo and we have there's very little point in using a blockchain if you are then using a centralized party to handle the data aspect. You might as well use a database. The only real reason blockchains exist if you're doing that kind of thing is as a way for people to access the network. You're not getting the value of decentralization. So we figured, OK, what is the perfect mechanism or what is the best mechanism for decentralization so that you get immutability? You don't get censorship and you lower the risk of these things. And of course, a blockchain is the best way to do that. And so we thought, well, OK, how do we build a blockchain that is validating data? It includes the problem Flare is trying to solve. And we have our reason for existing is data. And there's no one else really doing a layer one for data. And then if you add in our relay protocols, it's not just data. It's also really quite nice interoperability because we could build bridges and we could do general message passing and we could also provide our data as an Oracle service as a properly decentralized Oracle service to any network. So we kind of don't see ourselves as a layer one. We see ourselves as a utility to a patchwork of different blockchains. Data on a blockchain from external sources is a very hard thing to achieve and discusses the limitations of traditional oracles and Flare's mission to decentralize the data validation process, emphasizing that traditional oracles have been fairly centralized to highlight the shift Flare is advocating for in the blockchain ecosystem. And with the Flare time series Oracle V2, well, guess what? Now data on Flare just improved greatly, which we will address as well. But here we have broadening the horizon AI and blockchain. So again, the big problem around AI is also data. We have AI will be one of those areas where blockchain has genuinely improved what currently exists. He also noted that the intersection can lead to more accurate, safer AI models. Um, his perspective is that decentralized technologies can provide a new paradigm for AI development where the blockchain can contribute to the creation of unbiased, verifiable AI systems. And that is, to my mind, probably the most exciting thing in the space for the next five to 10 years. If that takes off and if we can get enough scalability to be able to provide answers from AI models for people that need those answers and we can do it quickly enough, as in with a low latency and it's a very useful product, then you've got something that truly that's uh, truly a solution to a real problem. And again, when we really think about that, right, like AI based systems for the longest time have 
been around, right? AI is not like this brand new technology that just rose out of nowhere. No, AI has been around for a while. The problem is that AI couldn't really be explored in the way of, you know, really tapping into it because again, data was so hard to actually see transparently and trust it transparent, uh, transparently as well. Blockchain is providing reliable, immutable and trustworthy data for AI based systems. And that's why I really want to look into um, this as well from IBM. So if you guys do watch a lot of my videos, you probably know about Casper with Brave AI. That's governance around AI. I actually think that Casper's uh, one of those overlooked projects when it comes to AI. But again, that's my opinion. Um, but regardless, we have what is blockchain and artificial intelligence? And again, this is where we kind of get a little bit of a viewpoint on how big blockchain is for AI. And this is where really kind of flair fills a major role as well. Blockchain and artificial intelligence refers to the convergence of these two technologies, which brings new value to business through authenticity, augmentation, and also automation. And if we scroll down here, they do kind of break both of these down. Again, we already know what blockchain and AI is. Um, but here we have combined values of blockchain and AI. And this is exactly why blockchain will dominate if we are going to start to see AI adopted at scale. And it seems as though we are going to, which I will talk a little bit more about. Um, but first and foremost, focus on what we are looking at when it comes to blockchain and AI here. And this is from IBM, a tech pioneer and giant in the traditional world. So authenticity first and foremost, blockchain's digital record offers insight into the framework behind AI and the provenance of the data that it is using, addressing the challenge of explainable AI. This insight helps improve trust in data integrity and in the recommendations that AI provides. Using blockchain to store and distribute AI models provides an audit trail and pairing blockchain and AI can enhance data security. Augmentation. AI can rapidly and comprehensively read, understand, and correlate data at incredible speed, bringing a new level of intelligence to blockchain-based business networks. By providing access to large volumes of data from within and outside of the organization, blockchain helps AI scale to provide more actionable insights, manage data usage, and also uh, model sharing and create a trustworthy and transparent data economy. Again, really kind of going back over here uh, to what Hugo did say down here, not only just incorporating external data into blockchain based systems, but specifically around AI, right? When we are looking at this, if we are going to see AI and blockchain converge in a massive way, this could very well lead to safer AI models that are more accurate, um, which is also going to provide a lot of scale in terms of the adoption and use of these AI models on a blockchain. And the blockchain, the, the specific network, I should say, that is providing that data, that reliable data that is immutable, that is trustworthy, that is even scalable, that is going to be a big winner. And I don't think that Flare is just going to be the only one here, um, but, but Flare does have a lot of things in terms of, you know, the actual underlying tech stack that a lot of these other networks don't have when it comes to providing uh, what is needed for AI and uh, blockchain to truly converge. But regardless, Flare is not going to be the only winner. There's going to be multiple ones, but I do think that Flare is going to be at the forefront of this considering the fact that they are fully focused on data. They have been fo fully focused on data since inception. And when we think about this, right? When we are looking at AI and when we are looking at data behind AI systems, it is crucial to understand that blockchain truly is the key that unlocks AI at scale for business models, for business networks, even around blockchain as well, which we do know that blockchain based systems and networks are being heavily adopted right now by enterprise names. I've specifically focused on this when it comes to Hedera, when it comes to Casper, Algorand, you name it. But then automation. Because this is where businesses really love AI uh, based systems, because if you could digitally automate any workflow, that is a big deal. First off, it saves a ton of money. It saves a ton of time and it really kind of speeds up everything. I mean, when you have a specific product uh, time frame that you have to meet, right? You could automate specific workflows and meet those deadlines very, very quick. But again, you don't get to get automation without blockchain. 
Automation, AI automation, and blockchain can bring new value to business processes that span multiple parties, removing friction, adding speed, and increasing efficiency. This is what it's all about for a business, right? Anyone out there that has worked in the business environment, owned a business, operated a business, or even just worked for a business, you know how fragmented the entire process could be. This is why when we look at AI with automation and even blockchain, I see an untapped, unlimited amount of potential. There is so much left here to explore when it comes to businesses. And they will do this because, again, if they could save money, if they could you know, streamline specific processes, they are going to do that. For example, AI models embedded in smart contracts that are executed on a blockchain can take the following actions, recommend expired products to recall, execute transactions such as reorders, payments, or stock purchases based on set thresholds and events, resolve disputes, select the most sustainable shipping method. Guys, do you know how disruptive this is for businesses? Again, they don't get to do this without blockchain. This is why I specifically focus on the areas where AI and blockchain could be truly unleashed. You have healthcare here, life sciences, financial services, supply chain. I mean, think about the, the just think about the unlimited potential here around AI and blockchain. And then when you think about the specific foundation that needs to be put in place for this to be realized in specifically, you know, data centered projects and networks like Flare. Now you can start to see how big of a role some of these networks could possibly fill. Now, last but not least, we have this great video posted by Subjective Views, and this is going to wrap up the video, um, but this is actually the managing director at the IMF, Kristalina Georgieva, and she's actually talking about blockchain and AI. And we have blockchain provides a secure platform for data management and transaction verification. AI can extract valuable insights from the data stored on the blockchain, contributing to trust in all systems. And the best part about this is with blockchain based smart contracts, you can limit and control what data is being extracted with AI. This is also another big deal and why, like I said, Flare Networks could become a dominant force very, very soon with AI. Listen closely to this, though. You mentioned AI could accelerate um, the fourth industrial opportunity and discuss the importance of good policy as you sit here today. What do you think would be good policies the, I, the IMF can support as it comes to adaptation and good policy on A, AI adaptation? Great question. Uh, we actually did a very uh, deep discussion, deep dive uh, on what is our role in the era of artificial intelligence. And what we can do, we, some of it we are already doing or we are building up uh, the direction uh, to take action on. First, uh, we created the AI Preparedness Index, looking at four things, digital infrastructure, human capital and labor market mobility, innovation and how innovation penetrates into the economy, regulation and ethics. We look at all these four things because just having technological capacity for AI is not enough. You need to have the digital infrastructure, you need to have people that are trained, retrained, capable to take advantage of it, uh, and of course, uh, uh, innovation and, and, and regulation. When we did this index, it was very interesting who came on top. I thought it would be the US because the US has by far the strongest innovation uh, in this area. But when you look at all these factors, Singapore came as number one. Uh, so we, we, what, what we want is, um, and Denmark and US were like the kind of the second. Um, what we want is to help our countries, especially low income countries, to recognize what they need to do to be successful. Two, direct our policy analysis, uh, especially around labor markets, and financial stability to reflect on the role of AI. And there, what we can do is to help countries also think of social protection and human capital investment for the world of the AI, and then build this in their public spending 
in their fiscal policies uh, in an integrated manner. And three, as the global community comes on this topic, bring what we are good at, labor markets, financial stability, to make sure that the, the world is on the right path because artificial intelligence can help and it can be also a really highly problematic. Just imagine, just imagine being used for evil, for disinformation and misinformation and spreading this in financial markets, uh, causing potentially a massive blowout. So uh, uh, we see a role for us, uh, but we also recognize this has to be taken seriously by countries and by other international organizations now. So there you guys have it again, you know, as we really think about this, yeah, I mean, misinformation, all of that can be solved with blockchain as well. I mean, this is this is like one of the biggest opportunities that I see around blockchain based technology. And um, it's one of the biggest opportunities that I also see around data, trustworthy data. So many people overlook how big of a role data plays in everything. If you have something that you could trust, and I'm talking about, you know, more so data, you can now look at AI created content, videos, images, whatever. The underlying data is what's going to separate the fake from the real. That's where blockchain really kind of comes in and is providing you trustworthiness that you can trust the content that you are seeing, trust the you know information or the news outlets that are posting these articles. That's why blockchain, it really is that crucial piece behind AI. And this is also why I think that as we look at some of these networks like Flare and what they're doing, they're fully centered out on data. Data plays a big key role around everything, whether that be AI or not. It is something that I think everyone should focus on, especially as we do get closer and closer to more implementation of AI based technology. Right now, ChatGPT and stuff like that's the big thing. But, you know, we're going to continue to see AI grow massively and innovate beyond just, you know, chatbots and stuff like that. It's going to become much, much larger than what anyone can anticipate, because this is technology that will completely automate and disrupt the status quo around businesses, around financial technology, healthcare, you name it. So as we really think about that, take into accountability that data behind AI based systems, it's going to be a huge opportunity and why I do think that Flare networks and anyone that is holding Flare should 100% be doing some research and studying AI based models. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe to notifications on for more free content. You guys more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join for the description below. And with that being said, guys, it's been Nick. Thanks for watching. Peace out.